What's good, everybody, man? This is your boy, Mr. B. Let me start by saying this was a huge success because this is the first time that I'm getting back out there and actually, uh, I guess, giving, getting honest opinions on reviewing of my food. So, long story short, we're going to read the two reviews that I got from the two families, and uh, we're going to go from there, All right? First one. So I was taken back about all three samples. They were really tasty and juicy. Good to hear. It's hard to pick one, but we both like all three. This is a husband and wife, right? But if I had to pick one, it was three for me. Y'all know my cracked chicken was number one, right? But for the wife, she liked one and two, right? One was the cracked chicken, two was the uh, the Caribbean, aka jerk style seasoning, perfectly grilled, right? So not bad, not bad. But I wanted to hear one was it, right? But I'm gonna tell you what I didn't do. We're gonna talk about that in a minute. Let's go to the next review, right? Oh man, this one right here. Who it was thorough? This what I'm talking about. These. I might need to hire them for a review. I'm just going to read it to you, right? They literally broke it down in the content. Skin texture, tenderness and consistency, and flavor. Crazy, right? So long story short, here we go. Here's our take. Ranked in order of preference, the ones we like most first. Overall, number two is the favorite one. God, dog, that dog on jerk Caribbean. But... We tried it, and we're going to break it down a little bit more. First, flavor. In order, number two, number one, number three. So that's the jerk, the cracked chicken, and then the barbecue. All right? Cracked chicken hanging in there, number, number two so far. Anyway, they love the smokiness of number two. That along with the hint of black pepper really made for a delicious taste in every bite. Give it away secret. Y'all heard a little black pepper now. Mm. Pay attention, y'all. Number one had a sort of Italian seasoning taste, a hint of hotness to it. Not sure if that was pepper or something else. Look at that. Give it secrets away about my cracked chicken. And then number three was good, although it seemed more of a mild, natural flavor. All delicious, nonetheless. Now keep in mind with the barbecue, I did a barbecue flavor, but I didn't put sauce on it. I don't believe in putting sauce on chicken wings simply because where I'm from in the South, we believe in tasting your food, right? Sauce doesn't make food. Because I can just put a chicken wing on there, no seasoning, wash it off, put it on the grill, keep it, keep it moist, and dip it in sauce, and you wouldn't tell the difference, depending on what sauce I use. So the reason why I say we cook that way put the sauce on the side so that if you like it, or if you a sauce person, you put the sauce on top of it, which in theory is a waste of season. But anyway, that's a story for another day. We'll talk about that later. Let's talk about tenderness and consistency. Number one, this is ranking. Number one, cracked chicken coming in, tenderness and consistency. Number two, jerk chicken. But that jerk ain't, ain't it ain't going nowhere. It's sticking around. And then number three, the barbecue. So right now you got flavor, you got jerk, tenderness and consistency, you got crack chicken. And then you know it's number three. Anyway, number one was fall off the bone. That crack chicken was fall off the bone, while we felt number three, the barbecue, was a little more dry inside. On a side note, the wife prefers dry meat, so she would rank it the other way. She prefers dry meat, so she would say, the barbecue was first, then the Caribbean, and then obviously the crack chip because of the tenderness. All right, let's talk about skin texture. That dog on number two, jerk, season, nan. All right, but it, here's the thing, skin texture. Number three came in second. 
And then number one, cracked chicken, came in last. They say the skin of number two was perfectly balanced and did very well. Number one was more on the chewy side, which makes sense because it was most tender. I specifically prefer dry meat, so the tender, which was the uh, cracked chicken, was not her preference. Anyway, they just say we hope our taste buds and rationale aren't completely crazy. And thanks for you know the opportunity to give feedback. Anyway, so there we have it, y'all. In a nutshell, that doggone jerk seasoning took the tops. Two out of three, it was number one. Okay. So let me tell you what I did though, right? So if you learn how to cook chicken, if you want to learn how to cook chicken um, in a better way, here's what I'll tell you not to do. Right. Every time I cook chicken for people, right, what I do is, and I'm gonna tell you the reason why I did it this way. What I did this time was I marinated my chicken exactly 24 hours. I got home, it was literally almost at the 24 hour mark. I took it out. Keyword, I marin marinated my chicken. When I say marinate, all I did was season it, so dry season or rub, put it in the bag, put it in the refrigerator. Came home, let it sit out the room temperature while the grill, the, the Kamado came up the temp, and then I literally took it from the bag and put it on the grill. I don't normally do that. The reason why I wanted to do that was because I'm coming up with new seasonings, right? Minus the cracked chicken. And I wanted to see on a chicken wing how it would do without me actually touching it up. So normally what I do is, if I put seasoning on there the night before, or 24 hours before, when I take it out of the bag, I put a hint of the seasoning on top, let it adhere at room temperature while my grill is coming up, right? It spooks, sparks the flavor in it. So I didn't do that this time. I did it on purpose because I wanted to see what the seasonings would do without it. On thighs, breasts, I don't have to do that. I can marinate it, take it out, stick it on the grill, and you're gonna taste it all through the meat. But with a wing, because it's not a thick piece of meat, that the seasoning that people taste is right down top. You bite the skin and bone, really, and a little piece of meat. So what I'm gonna do Friday, I don't know if I'm gonna record that, but what I'm gonna do Friday is, I'm gonna do the same exact thing, one, two, and three, because I'm not gonna tell them what the flavors are. And then, do the same thing, marinate them overnight Thursday, fry them, put them on the grill, this time I'm gonna sparkle season on top. And that is the way I normally cook. And then I want to see if the numbers that they say coexist with the way they think. I think the numbers will be totally different. Um, but anyway, there you have it, y'all. It was a success just to get out there and get some feedback, right? Because I'm trying to create, uh, make it back in the, back in the uh, seasoning game, right? Make a seasoning. You may see my ball a lot there. I'm moving like that right now. But anyway, uh, just trying some stuff. I got a cook coming up this weekend. A uh, case of chicken wing. Pray for me. Right, because I'm finna grind between two grills. We're gonna get it done. Um, and we're gonna go from there, y'all. Um, I got some distinguished visitors gonna be there, so I'm trying to impress. So we'll see. Anyway, this your boy Mr. B from Backyard Barbecue. Hope y'all learned some something today, some new tips, tricks, season it, marinate it, let it sit overnight. Come back right before you put it on the grill, let it get the room temperature, but you season it right before you let it sit, and then you put it on the grill. Hands down, don't overly season it because it'll be salty or, or spicy or whatever you put on there. So don't overly, you lightly dusting it, touching it up, all right? There you go, try that out, comment below, let me know what your thoughts are, let me know how you do it, and we're gonna keep it moving, y'all. On to the next video, we out here.